हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास इन चैप्टर फ्रैक्शंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन टाइप्स ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस कन्वर्जन्स सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म इक्विवेलेंट फ्रैक्शंस कंपैरिजन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस एडिशन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ फ्रैक्शंस in subtraction of fractions again there are two types first one is subtraction of like fractions and second is subtraction of unlike fractions today we will discuss subtraction of like fractions now like fractions are the fractions when denominators are same therefore Here we will subtract the fractions in which denominators are same. Now let's see the rule to subtract the like fractions. Here there is only one rule that is denominator we will write ones commonly and subtract the numerators. Let's understand with examples here we have to subtract 3 upon 7 and 1 upon 7 it will come 3 upon 7 minus 1 upon 7 now step 1 check the denominators here both denominators are equals to 7 therefore they are having same denominators that means these are like fractions now in like fractions just now i have told you the rule that we will write denominator once so here denominator will come 7 and we will subtract the numerators numerators are 3 and 1 so it will come 3 minus 1 upon 7 now 3 minus 1 equals to 2 so answer is 2 upon 7 here numerator is smaller than denominator as you know if numerator is less than denominator then fraction is proper fraction let's take one more example here subtract 10 upon 3 and 4 upon 3 now we will write 10 upon 3 minus 4 upon 3 both denominators are equals to 3 therefore denominators are same it implies that these fractions are like fractions now as per rule right denominator once what is denominator here 3 so we will write 3 once in denominator and now subtract the numerators what are numerators here 10 and 4 so what we will write 10 minus 4 upon 3 now tell me what is 10 minus 4 that is 6 it is coming 6 upon 3 as i have told you earlier that fraction should be in its lowest term now as you can see 6 and 3 both are coming in common table so we have to cut this fraction so that we can reduce it into lowest term so in which common table they both are coming in table of 3 here we will cut on table of 3 so what will come 3 twos are 6 3 ones are 3 now it is coming 2 upon 1 here i have told you earlier also if denominator is equals to 1 we will write only numerator so here answer is Let's take one more example. Here, subtract six upon five from 
10 upon 5. Now from means second fraction minus first fraction. Why second minus 1? Because subtraction always bigger number minus smaller number. And here 10 upon 5 is bigger fraction than 6 upon 5. So in next step we will write 10 upon 5 minus 6 upon 5. Here denominators are equals to 5. Same denominators implies these are like fractions. Now let's apply rule on these fractions. Denominator commonly one time and subtract the numerators. So it will come 10 minus 6 upon 5. Now 10 minus 6 equals to 4. So it will come 4 upon 5. Numerator again lesser than denominator. Therefore, it is a proper fraction. Now, let's see another example. Here, we have to subtract 2 whole number 2 upon 5 from 4 whole number 1 upon 5. Here again, from word is coming. Just now I have told you from means second fraction minus first fraction. Now see, fractions are given in mixed fractions. So we have to change it into improper fractions. Now let's change 4 whole number 1 upon 5 into improper fraction. It will come 5 multiplied by 4 plus 1 upon 5. Now 5 fours are 20. 20 plus 1 upon 5. It will come 21 upon 5. On the other hand, 2 whole number 2 upon 5. We will write here 5 multiply 2 plus 2 upon 5. It will come 10 plus 2 upon 5 which is equal to 12 upon 5. Now come back to the statement. Here at the place of 4 whole number 1 upon 5, I will put 21 upon 5. And at the place of 2 whole number 2 upon 5, I will put 12 upon 5. Both denominators are equals to 5. Both are same. Therefore, these are like fractions. Now, as per rule, we will write denominator once. So here denominator will come 5 and subtract the numerators. So here it will come 21 minus 12 upon 5. 21 minus 12 equals to 9. So it is coming 9 upon 5. Here 9 is bigger than 5. If numerator is greater than denominator, it implies that this fraction is improper fraction. Improper fraction we will change into mixed fraction. So let's divide 9 by 5. Here 5 ones are 5 minus 4. Start from the quotient. Quotient is 1. So 1 is whole number. Answer will come 1 whole number 4 upon 5 which is a mixed fraction. So students, today we have learned how to subtract like fractions. Now I hope you are able to do the related worksheet or related sums mentioned in your SNAP homework. But here I am guiding you must go through the YouTube links that are already mentioned in your SNAP homework. Thank you. Have a nice day.